my father was Staff Sergeant John A. Thorburn. He was a, a, a legend and a, 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 a hero to the highest extreme, well decorated, highly decorated, and uh, uh, just a great man in every way, a uh, great father, the best father. To he was in the Army from 64 until 68. He got out, and then he re-enlisted into the Air Force after that and up until the time he was shot down in uh, March 14th of 1970. Then he came home, everything seemed okay, there was a couple mental issues at times but he was doing great physically, he had two healthy kids, myself and my sister and then what happened is uh, the Agent Orange was supposedly in, in his you know DNA and in uh, 1981 my sister Dee Dee was born uh, and she was the first one. She was born, couldn't walk or talk, and uh, you know, that's uh, that was the first one. And um, then Max, in, in, who passed away in 2001, he was born, I think, 1991. I'm almost positive about that. Uh, he couldn't walk, talk, and he was also blind. And uh, also my sister Lisa, who was born healthy, she gave birth to a baby named Vincent who uh, passed away at six months old. We had done all the genetic testing on John's side of the family, my side of the family, everything came out negative. All the blood work, all the placenta work, they had you know, taken all kinds of um, different biopsies and grown things and there was no reason you know, for it except they said that it you know, could have been by Agent Orange. You know, he brought a little bit of that, you know, what was left over at the war, he brought it home. and. Uh, there's a possibility that that's the reason some of them kids were sick. You know? When my father got cancer, there was never any uh, negativity in his mind about it, like, oh, why me? Well, you know, that was the truth. You know, he was all positive and always, oh, he thought it was a, almost like a positive way to go. It was the best way someone could go because you prepare. And they gave him, um, I guess, six months to live at that point. If he did nothing, if he had done something, maybe a year. We were lucky enough to, to um, have some friends and relatives who had radiostatic surgery and it had done wonders. It was, it was absolutely wonderful. He was the happiest uh, I have seen him in his whole life probably the last few years of his life. He was just happy every day and that's not, I'm not lying, I'm not exaggerating, that's the truth, like he was just happy. He lived a life of like four or five people, so uh, 63 seems like a young age, but it, it, in, uh, in dad years, in my dad years, it was uh, probably about 95, 105. You know, he lived a long life.